Welcome to Hacker's Reef. Today we're going to be talking about clownfish. These clownfish in particular, as well as some facts on clownfish in general. You're going to learn things like what do clownfish eat, the lifespan of clownfish, and a lot more. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Hacker's Reef. We're going to talk about these particular clownfish to start off with. If you've been watching our Save the 120 series, you'll know that these guys used to live in the 120 that we're working on in that series. Uh, if you haven't watched that yet, I'm going to put a link in the description. You can check that out. I'd really recommend it. It's a decent series about algae removal and it might help you out with some things. But let's get started with our facts on clownfish. First, we're going to talk about how long clownfish live, the lifespan of a clownfish in general. There's a lot of information online. You can search Google, and the first thing you'll see is they live between three to five years in captivity. There's definitely some wiggle room on that number, because the clownfish you're looking at right now are over 10 years old. I don't think it's time to call the Guinness Book of World Records on this, but I think if you take really good care of your fish, you feed them a nice varied diet, they're going to last a long time if you give them a nice environment to live in. I'm definitely not trying to jinx these guys, but I try to take really good care of them. And I would say that the lifespan on a clownfish is definitely higher than that. I don't think every clownfish is going to live this long. But if you follow along and you do some of the care and maintenance routines that I do, you might have some luck and end up with a pair of teenage clownfish of your own. Now that brings us to our next fact on clownfish. We're talking about food. Clownfish are not picky at all. They will eat almost anything, and I think that contributes to their low lifespan that's reported because they will just eat the most low-grade flake food that you offer them, and if that's all they eat their whole life, I could really imagine them not living a long, healthy life on a diet like that. As you can see right now, they're eating some mysis shrimp. They love this stuff, and I try to get this to them at least a couple of times a week just to change it up between some premium pellet food. Another thing I like to do is I actually soak the mysa shrimp in Cellcon. Cellcon is a food additive. It comes in a little bottle with a little eyedropper on it, and you just squeeze it on the food, and that way it'll fortify the mysa shrimp or whatever you're feeding them with a bunch of other vitamins that are inside the Cellcon. That's going to help them out health-wise, their immune system, and everything in general. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can pick up some Cellcon, so go ahead and check that out. It's really good to have around. It's great for clownfish, tangs, any kind of fish. You can soak nori, mysa shrimp. Some pellets you can soak, but you have to be careful they don't fall apart. Uh, generally, it's a great thing to keep in your toolkit when you're keeping fish. Another thing I want to go over with you really quickly is if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see there's a lot of mysa shrimp still on the ground. Now, this was one full cube of mysa shrimp that I just defrosted in a small cup filled with their tank water, and then I dumped it in. As you can tell, that was too much food for them to eat out of the water column before it settled on the ground. There's still some floating around, but a bunch of it definitely hit the bottom of the tank. That's why I recommend when you're feeding clownfish or any other type of fish, you want to feed slowly. What you should do is dump in maybe a quarter of that frozen food and see how they respond to it. Just like everything else, it's always easier to add a little bit more than it is to take something out. And I know you can just do a water change, but it makes much more sense to just not mess it up in the first place. Next up, we're going to talk about basic clownfish care and what makes a good habitat for your clownfish. This pair obviously came from a much bigger mixed reef tank, but clownfish can live very successfully in small tanks. They're extremely territorial, and if you can watch their behavior just in this video so far, they do not stray very far from that pot. And that's what makes clownfish a great candidate for a small tank. So if you have like a nano tank in your office, or if you're just a beginner and you want to start out with a small tank, clownfish are always a great choice because they don't need a lot of space to swim. Even with that in mind, something like a fishbowl is definitely not going to make a good clownfish habitat. You probably want to do something at least 10 gallons. These guys are in a 20 gallon long tank, and the only reason I moved them here from the 120 is because I'm going to try to breed them, and hopefully they're going to lay eggs on this pot, and then we're going to do another video about explaining how that works. But back to our clownfish habitat. They have very standard care requirements of almost any fish. You're going to want a tank that is cycled. So everyone wants to come home with a pair of fish or just add something really nice to a tank as soon as they set it up, but that's going to get you into a lot of trouble. You have to make sure your tank is completely cycled, and that unfortunately calls for patience. 
Now, there's no shortcut other than the bottled bacteria products they sell that can make it anywhere from two weeks uh, instead of the usual four weeks or longer to create the bacteria cycle in your tank to safely support your fish. But no matter what way you go, you want to make sure that your cycle is complete, you've tested and verified your water parameters. Speaking of water parameters, depending on what you have in that tank, if it's just a small aquarium like this that just has your clownfish in it, some simple filtration, then you just want to make sure you have low nitrates, no ammonia. Then you want to make sure you stick with the 10 to 25% water change every week, and that's going to be dependent on how much you feed and what your tests say. Very important you test your aquarium at least weekly. It's always better to do some tests than just assume everything's going great and wait for a problem to happen. The tests are going to give you hopefully enough warning that you're not going to lose fish or just diminish their health in general. And that's really what it's all about, just reading the warning signs and making good positive changes. I'm not going to cover extensively how to set up an aquarium and all that stuff. Hopefully you know about that. If not, leave a comment below. Let me know if you'd like me to dig a little deeper into that, and I can definitely do a video about that for you. But now I'm going to try to bang out the last of our facts on clownfish lightning round style. Everybody's looking to get a pair of clownfish. Nobody just wants a singular clownfish for the most part. So sometimes it's expensive to get yourself a mated pair like you see here. Now, you can go ahead and pair up your own clownfish, and it's really easy to do if you follow a simple rule. You need to make sure the clownfish are the same species. You're going to have different colored clownfish. Uh, there's all kinds of different designs of clownfish out there. But your basic clownfish like this, make sure they are the same species of clownfish. And then you want to try to get them to be the same size, and you want to introduce them at the same time. So the same size and the same time, you start them out in your tank like that. If that doesn't happen, and you end up only with a single clownfish, that one clownfish living alone in your tank will almost guaranteed to be turning female eventually. So any clownfish that you do find uh, to make a pair, you want to make sure that it's much smaller than the one you already have. That will cut down on aggression, and that will also give you the best chance of a pairing. I may be buried the lead a little bit here, but yes, clownfish are capable of changing their sex after they're born. So two clownfish the same size, one will turn female and one will remain male, depending on the more dominant one. Now, if you do end up with a pair of clownfish, they're the most likely fish in your aquarium to lay eggs. A lot of people have been raising clownfish. Almost all the clownfish you can buy now are captive bred. Clownfish eggs are fairly easy to raise, but they do have some care requirements. And if they just lay their eggs in a mixed reef environment with other fish, unless you have a whole thing set up to breed them, if you've done research, it's most likely not going to happen. They're going to hatch and get eaten by other fish. That's just a classic case of the circle of life going on. Clownfish will lay eggs multiple times per month, so don't feel bad about it. It's a normal thing that happens in almost everyone's tank when they do keep a pair of clownfish. With that in mind, if you do ever find a clutch of clownfish eggs in your tank, I would just take that as a sign that your clownfish are in good health. Because in order to lay the eggs, they're going to need to be healthy clownfish to begin with. So if you do find them laying eggs, you're probably doing a good job with them and keep it up. Now that's just some basic facts on clownfish. If you have anything else that you'd like to know about clownfish, or these clownfish in particular, leave a comment below, let me know, and I will post another video updating this. Hopefully you learned something you didn't know about clownfish, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. As always, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We have all kinds of updates about our projects. And that's a great way to get in contact with us if you need any help on anything you saw in this video.